Hallelujah.
let's give God a big hand of praise. Work it be in a moya. Work it be in a moya.
left dig right hallelujah to the left awa ke ba ke rata re ke re awa you may be seated ke a le wo botse botse hey ntwe mo na ti ba hey so ke re re ke fitish ya announcement ya mathomonyana ke re ho na le batswadi ba bangwe ka montle ka mo mola pre ke playground he bana ba raloka mole wa ba bona re genuinely ba gatile bana he ba raloka you know why because mwana o jamba mola trampolini yena o yemi mola o mo lebeletse mara ho na le bale ho ya ka nna a ke bone botse ka re mwana o mo wa jamba yena o yemi mo are o ka tile ngwana na o ya ka nna ke bona o ka re motswadi wo o duma ngwana o botse botse wa e planela re nka jampa bia nka namela mo wa bona bia le o tshabo re ha ka jampa o na hanne rap rap wa bona gore o na hanno re tlebe re e ma a o nthobe o nrape mo e bile o tshaba lo ra fitla prayer line a re papa ke gopela o nrape le mmo papa o tla re o di etseng a re ke thinyeile ke zing ka le bana so be ke re ke fitle mo yengwe ya bobedi ke re a a a a ke re re na le interpreter ya re na ya setswana ke re mara le ile la e kwa mara ke re e e e e di a bo ya mola gore papa he ba re left interpreter er left plus 1 ah 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 kuring plus 1 yena ke spice ke raja ke dilo tsa ka moka mara ere ke ra a ke mo ke a fit so ere pele ke tswela pele ke tie opportunity ye ke re eh ke gopolo re papa eh i really like to take this moment to honor you and Thank you for when God says go you went when God said come you came when God said stop you stopped when God said don't you didn't and when God said go or do you did so papa it's because of your obedience that we are here so botse botse a ke gona re ke bakolle ka mogho ke nyakang So words are failing me. What's about saying your God words cannot explain or express what my heart wants to say. So I really take this opportunity to thank you Papa. Amen. So awa mo le ke be ke bolela le Papa ka ke re le bone. 
ani yo tsa ke bolela le batho ka moka ke re i greet you greetings messiah's greetings all over the world take your messiah's greetings in the auditorium ke be ke tla kwa ali li 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 kwa bona ko re ke re bona ha re le mo ba re le ke grand finale Grand finale ye barile ke a spiritual birthday barile you must dress for the banquet I had to honor the invitation Ene ke go bolo re ke le bontsho re ke ona re ile ka gore a ke re he ke bala bible la emputsa gore what ever you see in me na ko ke ra in my father Yeah, re put it into practice. Bia le le nna ka bona re ei ba bangwe ba isinya o bona ba re ke figure belt a se yona nna ke bitch a belt of truth. Bia le le nna ke rile ka tshe go ke ya pare just like my father. Wa won. So mo botse botse ke tlile o le tlhalosetsa a ke re wa bona re ba be ba le busy ba bolela se go wa left and right ba le tlhalosetsa re a botse botse spiritual but they say who dia halaeng ke eng wa bona so because ba bolela ka se go wa and as go wa se o ka re sena le di data bundle di a fela and he di fela o kre network e ir loading connecting o re re ba tla ba sa kwishisha o re o dia halaeng wa bona Sonna ke re le ere ke tle mo wa se ba ke tle ka eng ka faiba ka re ere nna ke tle ka faiba ke tlo le connect ke le tlhalosetsa spiritual birthday ka se pedi wa e won la ngushisha mos bia le shifa So spiritual birthday ho na le ba bangwe ba sana hana hore ka di 6 ja September ke tjatjile papa ba pholusitsweng ka lona ah that's very wrong ya bo be di ba ba mba re ke tjatjile papa ba 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 release tsweng into ministry ke re wrong times too e reng ke le tlhalosetse spiritual birthday se ke tjatjile divine communication oba ke ra bi tshini modimo le papa o bona ya le nna ke re wa ntseba a wa ka re hey divine communication ka re e re ke check or a botse botse papa e bile before ke check ya ba lore papa ba ng confirmela ba ra wa technology ye is from god o ko re ke technology for christ ka ro communication plus technology ka ra e re ke ko di scriptures ke bona re botse botse e tsamaisha na bjang le matjatji a rena a today wa bona a wa ka nyaka kwa 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 mathomo ka tsheka re ka mogogale batho ba ba phela ka ona ka re okay during the olden days people would send someone to go and convey a message from one province to another a tsamaya ka maoto wa bona ele a means of communication ene ba murumilo re ayo ba botsa ko le mpopo o re a pebo mma ba re letswa e le fedi wa bona so ka re okay e re ke tsheke ka mo bible ka re so re na ba be ba roma batho modimo o be a roma mangeloi wa bona mara difference ko re mangeloi a re na for communication a be a sa tsamae ka maoto a be a na le transport wa bona so ka re e re ke lebelo re transport e ke ka re ro re everything from the bible hi man ke everything e le mmo le fatshe ka re he o nano re escalate e thomile ke batho ba di engineer go di mmolo you are very wrong bible e re angels were ascending and descending wa bona ko re modimo a roma manyelo ha re tsamaya mangelo ya utlwa mareu ari a tseu ha re ke re boyam ari wo bo so ka ro so that was one kind of communication between men and god ka ro okay let me study the life of moses se ke bona ra botse botse communication ya ha ile modimo e be ile bia ai modimo ari wena 
Zamuchi ya wana wale ubaishe kwa kanana. Murimu arna. Na. Parki mamushe. Arna kina direction. Na kizavuru kwa tama. Murimu arbona albio navigator. Arna. I will go with you. Akira witu goya. Hai karo. Navigator. Ito mile baibele. Karo. Good shot. Awa kisariki. Lebe lechi. Awa mushe shuli. Moshe shule iri hawa, then Moses a picha a tent. Tent ye uba i picha away from the people. So tent ela uba i berikisha ur ayo obule la limudimu. Kas kwa iri he was going to inquire with God kar ora limudimu. Ube analidi communication skills icha uba receptionist. Kaura kiri di inquire riri di riri isha kwa reception. Kar o. Uror iriki lebele. Hey, nji chwela pili, chwela pili. Iri nao, moshe oba aya to the tent every day. Ape kisa kalu shatrawa ya, ya divine communication. Let's go, let's go, tiba. Ay, moshe aya every day. Well, atomo wija plege la arge the tent of miti. Kara, ah, ah, ah. Kuri, God and Moses took the communication to another level. Uror miti ngo ibe ili bodru. management the father the son and the holy spirit conference call technology shiwe i conference call mount sinai Awa iri God would come in a cloud. Kar a beno muri mu mo na tisa iPhone na introduce a di i cloud so communication. Kar ye a bele mo na kisa r i cloud tu hawa muri mu ar phone ushi awa kabona muri mu afa mo she ar hai beno mbo na kwe hawa ashi far tablet. Arigir swara tablet. Ar swara tablet ka ba lo kweshe. Kweshe ni ela ka ipuchor mara nare mudi mu fo unu yena ona leo na na. Wabon. Wata kosha ela iri. Masione. Only mudu medishe. Wabon. Abelo naka irata ka skuwa. Mara aliti. Yona iri. Oh, you Zion, come and say hello to him. Why, what? Really? Kir hape ki nyoko kushisha communication ne ye ya fo unua wa. Kir khale ba ba riwicha ba re. Eta udume di she ba ba. Agro kwa. Eta udume di she. Only udume di she. And how chia fo unuru udume di she ba 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 ore hello wa ger. That's why scripture says, call me and I will answer. Wow. Kakushi shaur ube aror mfunela kita ya rawa. Wow. So hai. Ashida, ashida, baby, lishida, lina kia wala. Egerita. Amoshe ya no labi lika phone call arai communication ni yarena kwa uko urai my ship hear me by my voice na kinyo wana arigira I want to see your glory ah you are my 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 boy you are still a very small child eta kita no ira hide and seek iloena ukase mpon arigita no ruta orka hide and seek i usika na wabu wanyak ano hungry. Aragir here dala hide and seek. Eh, omungo we are let's go. So now I will put my hand when I turn aga mold tape. Let tapa lela ibe ili secret place. Bon, u secret place singi mara. U seek a mo tomorrow. I pity. Oh, ah, muri mo afe John Charles Olel. Ara mehe check. Awana mo koko tol. Awana mo koko tol arbo na wazbor wai ko boncha mo koko tol. Kure if you see my face, my boy. You are a funeral. Arigir uhuile. Awa ya malurishile. Ki waiting period. Hey le waiting period. Ka mkola. Khani ki na kojele jari. He's waiting on the Lord. Awa shile ashile. Amechor. 
o se gale re kora wa moshe o ba ya bolela le modimo face to face wa kushish ya le ke akushoro communication ni ela e tla kwa gole kwa so we are like a kushar the six church of September. We are like divine communication between our Father and God. Wow. We don't know if we should go or not. We are going to communicate. Papa, we are going to be a Christian. We are going to be emailing. We are going to FaceTime. We are going to transport. We are going to trans. We are going to trans. Ke trans o nya ke ga transport e la semoya ke hore o ye kwa o bona tshela le tshe so ye la ba ibitsang vision nna ke tshwantsha le facebook eh eh a se facebook ke whatsapp call whatsapp video call whatsapp ba wae a ke re vision o ibona o le hona mo there's no need for transport oba so ke re bona tshetse le ke tshetse le modimo a bolelane le papa concerning the body of christ wa bon so ke ra e re ke level le di 6j ka ra e ke ko le bile ba bolela ka rtv ba re ina le 11 years ka ro e re ke bona na rtv ye be ke re pila pila e ra hore re leboha tv ka no ka re maybe e ra hore re bone tv ka re awa ka ku shor ba ra hore e ra ra bone tv and a tv ye la e ra hore television and go ra re go na le vision ka ga re wa won so ka mantjo mangwe go ya ka nna le ngushishi go ya ka nna rtv yena e ra gore ra bone tells a vision about the body of christ la ikushisha ke re bi ale a o wa ka re he ba re e tshwara 11 years e re ke e connect ke bona re e connect a bia ka re Ape 11 e ke 10 plus 1 ka ra e a ke nya ke yo ka re ke 9 plus 2 ka re 8 plus 3 7 plus 4 5 plus 6 ka re ah wait right there ke nya ka di 6 je ka kushisha gore ga pe ka ngwago mongwe ka di 6 ja september samwe go morao kwa o tla enyaka o tla ya wa ile bello re be ile 20 ma we won Papa ba ile ba ba le vision yena modimo wa ba bontshang ke communication ager ya le papa ba bona ba tshwere camera ha wa ba 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 re ba shuta ba bona ya le ka ra vision yela go tlhaga lentju la re fulfillment captured ya le ke re fulfillment captured ye ape ye ira rena ka re full ira hore ho tletse ka re feel ira hore e ra ro go tlatsa ka ro ke fulfillment we are full of joy we are full of the word ya re we are filled with the holy spirit and this moment ah uh, is meant to be captured wa wa bia le ke sa bolela bia o ka re mara hai a botse botse o capture wa eng mo ya ka kusho ro capture wa di miracle signs and wonders wa bo o se bo ro wa so that the vale was believing but cono believe in the works of my father wa bo so ka ra i man ke a le bo ga tabe ene bona na rtv ye eng khahlela gore a wa a ka tlhoke passport or ke fitle zimbabwe a ka tlhoke passport ba ba ngwe o se bona Sanje ba yo di di passport e ba nyo go travel na ke travel in a sprinkling of an eye ba re ke sprinkling ana ke twinkling ya ne uwe wa kushisha so le ntjula modimo le a advance ka 2 seconds wa bona mola ba ba ngwe shiwa le tshwantse ba fofeka di paloni bo shiwa wa bona so le ntjula modimo le nore la fitla le la fitla ba ka ro di 6j ka di 6j ke tsheka gape ba ra wa papa ba ile ba ba le engwe vision mara botse botse ke ipotsisha ke tla ke tla ba botsisha ba tla mpotjo re e be ile e o se bo se na email na wa bo tla botsha papa ra wa ba le ba ra wa wa tla eh vision ye le engwe la e bontsha gore eh now you will teach the word of god wa bo e be e bolela ka 
Trini. Ata ikir Trini ngo mwona no rikirayele ya masole. Agiri yona ni. Mara leona ya atsa inakara. Agiri ki masole a musha wale hodivu. Hani ibe ira training of the matters in the kingdom. So Liana, Liana, it came through a vision. Wujisha. Ekira training in the matters of the kingdom. Kar awa. Nafona yeki the school of the spirit. Oban. Ekira ki the school of the spirit. Kar hai. Ereki tachamulor. Why ekira ki the school of the spirit? Skolom. Wonali different languages. Kamu. One different languages in the spirit. Wow. I can no man. Eh. Skolo. Read your mathematics. Mudimu hawa cha papa are go and teach the word. Unali mathematics mu. Kar mathematics in a lady addition, subtraction, division. Eh. Leona king yele mwe. Multiplication. Yale au wawa kiri he. Mudimu au mponchor linjule papa wale rerang. Lebe ta mathematics yebya. Au wawa. Ashili le linju. Lare e. Linju le papa are rutang. It has come to cause division. In the body of Christ. Kiri division yebya. Ara au wawa. Heru mwa heru mwa laka dipuki yeng. Re mwala no moroka udimu yeng waka fasira biya lai. Kare oke. Are e. It will not divide the light from darkness. Kari he. Are mm. Linjule. Liki le go divide righteousness from sin. Kari he. I know. I can go to a bad division. We are not going to be able to do it. Are we. Linjule. Liki le go di ra subtract she. Kari re subtract a yenge anamo. Are oh. You cannot encounter the word and not have subtraction of depression. Ariki riki subtract tadi anger. Ariki subtract tadi loje kamuga. Wagushish kari he. Eurar gives the school of the spirit you can need. Yale are no after subtracting all these things. Are wanna we subtract even everything that entangles you to see no abo. Kar good. Ara ayer fecha muwe. We add. Kiri he. So radin chadi lo chela radin loke lakat. Are no no no. We add the fruit of the spirit. Wabon. Are ha fecha mola. Are kiri everything that is good that is noble. But when I think about such. We add good thoughts in our minds. Wabon. Karo, oh, kai kushi, chao rabo tsubo tse, eh, 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 training ye ki ay, ngo, kare biyale, aray, ani jwa cheri ya ho multiplication. So, linjulek, papa ale woning ale rera. Ke la ore biyale, lidiye di popcorn, ke la di sans. Wawo, kore di ri, pu, 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 di popcorn street. Koro olo ke la chef five o ta di wo na di sa chwa di ene o di lebelech di chwa di chwa na oror karekta e la gamu ga kia papa wa won so di popcorn ni chela chwa ne chi di no chwa wa won so kiri hey ya oror tabe kio on biya le kiri beno hane tabe ya 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 yona a training in the matters of the kingdom iti lebiya. Mudi mwara, uwecha papa rtabe asuru chanjo o impatre ba chuba, chanjo o ba se se u sijile, se su hamile ngeli se hodiani, se se ba se la hamile bona, se u se miriche, se se le bona, ba se miriche, o gushiche, kure the word that you have eaten, ba se ba chuba kamuka, ba se wabon, so yaba yana aimi ya training in the matters. Of the kingdom, mawon. So I garai, trabeki ikushi shit, mawon. So we are them. Eki yama fellong kinyo kore kire na hoyakana. If it was hoyakana, kiki kitu ilebe no moto piki. If it be lo hoyakana, na kebe kitare. Eh, ukaro hokaba liskrini sela sare hero pela hobe lidi lyrics. Karu mungo wa general mu. Omongwa generali mu. Oba si yomu. 
he papa a thitsa ka khetura le haga o tlile mo a kra lo eh eh go shela shi o bona afika yo yo ke re tsebe ya ina skrumelo ke kwa mothare haga o chen 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 ke re motho a pe hore haga ke chen chi ke saro o fedije are ketu o rice rice ke re wena haga ke chen chi bile ketu ra ke rice ai o ne botata o bona so screen ni sala se ka re tshusho re ye ba thoro khona o bona re botse botse go shei re ngwa ka rona le ngwe le ona ya mblesa mara he he ba fitla mola mola wa zwe ba fitla mola mola are madi twale ali file a fitle mola re jehova u kotsi ke re a o kotsi ke re no mara re ke lebella ka le tlhole le right le le positive hello re o ra re o kotsi dangerous in a way ya hore when he says you free you are free indeed ah you know kotsi ke a watch hello re o lebella ke ka le tlhole le right mara still ai ke sa feel or di lyrics e tsona ke sa dinyaka wa so a wa ka mantjo mangwe ke gopela re e ke re program director e tla o tshe maiko ka re ke nyoko nwa metsi kwa ke le u give a round of applause <laughs> clapping <laughs> hallelujah awa baba le kana la to se khekhe le chai ape muthwela we shubu le tsa baje dinshi amen we thank god for our sister teresho um messiah's greetings daddy thank you so much for this opportunity to come and serve god along with but, our brother but this is beautiful Hallelujah. Amen. We, we get to laugh in the house of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Hey, ah, ah. Amen. Papa Nabulela Nete, there is a lot that needed to laugh and and release stress. And release hey. It's very important. The week. Release the week. <laughs> so, Amen. are we enjoying? Are we enjoying? Are we having fun? Are we having fun? Are we having Can fun? Can I see a wave of hands? <laughs> Can I get a hallelujah, hallelujah. over there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah over here. Amen. Hallelujah over here. Amen. Hallelujah over there. Hallelujah over there. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's where the vibe is. There. And and uh, there's something important that she said. Mm. Papa, the script. So, sorry, sorry, Jenna. <laughs> Hallelujah over there. Yo. Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we know the truth. <laughs> ah, Papa, you have a hard time when they're here. Now we believe you. <laughs> ah. But while well, they're a generation on their own. <laughs> okay, Lama Fellow. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. But I think I I think ma ah but um bamudi. You know you know I think uh, mama was right here when she said we need a uh, we we need a uh, lyrics. Lyrics. Sometimes. Hey. We were trying a song here sometime and then there's a part where it says Blessed is he who restoreth our souls. Mm. It was supposed to be done by a soprano. Mm, mm. The problem is the one who sings the loudest. Mm. The lyrics. <laughs> so right now we are busy. Blessed is he. Blessed is he. 
who restore her thousand. In the queen, in the queen, in the oh, but, oh. <laughs> So we are asking, Papa, help us. And you know which one as well? Yes. The one from last week. Uh, <laughs> Help us, Papa! Please help us, please. You can also just say, "I offline." It's fine. <laughs> when we came here, we came as a team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what's happening now. Yeah, we're together. Later, later. Yes. For now, I, I think we all know what we're here for. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. We first gonna count again because it's very important to remind those who just came. Mm. Are you ready to count with us? Come over, Ruvechi. Are you ready to count with us? Everybody together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Indeed, 11 years of fulfillment captured. Um, the word of God is able to reach very dark places today um, because of Rabboni TV, because of God being faithful to, to, to our Father and to this church and to Rabboni TV as well, and because of many saints are giving and partnering with the ministry, we are able to reach so many, so many countries out there. Amen. And by so saying, we have Sister Agnes, who's going to give us the history not only about RTV, mm -hmm. there's also about training in matters of the kingdom, mm -hmm. also about the spiritual birthday. Mm -hmm. So that when we dance, you have a clear, mm -hmm. a pure understanding Amen. why Amen. we are the way we are. Amen. And why we are crazy the way we are crazy. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we Amen. in agreement? Amen. Are we in agreement? Amen. So for now, let us give. Sister Agnes, a round of applause Woo! as she continues with more of insights. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's celebrate. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, my brother. Messiah's greetings to all the viewers that are watching all over the world. Whether you're watching us, Vara Raboni TV, via YouTube, Facebook or TikTok, in any form where you're watching us, we're saying to you, Messiah's greetings. And to everyone who is here with us in the auditorium, we greet you, we're saying Messiah's greetings to you. I'm here to present to you the spiritual birthday that we are celebrating its grand finale today. One would be asking themselves that, what is a spiritual birthday? What is its significance? Blessed viewers, as we know, our father dates back to the year 2012, where he came and saw a vision. At this time, even our father would always tell us that he knew that he would see dreams on the 6th, and he knows that that is the day where God would come uniquely and in a different way. However, at that time, he did not understand. But it is only God who was able to reveal to him that indeed this is the day where he is revealed. We are now going to read directly the words of our father when he received the revelation or the understanding of what spiritual birthday is. Each year on the 6th of September, God would consistently reveal to our father the special message for the church and the body of Christ at large. And this is what our father said. Over time, God made me realize that this is my spiritual birth date on the 6th of September. That is when women from above, our mother from above, Jerusalem, gave birth to me. One might ask, what is the spiritual 
birthday. This is the time of the fixed date of the father. This is the time that will never fail anyone. Your son, children, and even your intercessor, you will never fail. This is the time that everything that happens in your life, it is in the will of God. This is the time where spirit gives birth to spirit. It is not in the physical, but it is in the spirit. Everyone has that time as per Galatians chapter 4 verse 5. When the fixed date comes, the real father from above comes and confirms you and says, This is my son, in him I am well pleased. And from this moment onwards, no one can pull you down. You will be prepared to finish your race without... Just like the time when the ministry of Jesus started in the age 30. That was the fixed time for the Father. Blessed viewers, our Father also further continued to teach us about how God rewards faithfulness. And this was the theme for this year's spiritual birthday. God rewards faithfulness. Then our Father continued to teach about reward and he said, Being given a reward, it means you are honored. It is divinely given to everyone who has been faithful in performing God's task or doing his work. The, the reward may be one and the same for every case, but its value differ to each individual based on what they have done. Faith in him causes its value to be exposed. Blessed viewers, our Father further continues to teach us that when these rewards come, they are not for an individual or for a particular church, but these are for the body of Christ. Also, as we all know, our Father teaching us about Apostle Paul, that he was not called for a certain church, but he was called for the body of Christ. Whatever reward God gives, it is to serve the church at large, meaning it is for the body of Christ. We are one body, however, we are many parts. In these parts are interdependent, as it states in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Also in the book of John chapter 7, it says that, He that believeth in me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. This water flows out of your belly, not for you, but for nations out there. Blessed viewers, we bless the Lord so much. Because when we look also in the Bible, today we are benefiting on the reward that Abraham received because of his faithfulness. Therefore, the reward requires obedience and for one to be faithful. It is not what just comes automatically, but it comes as one continues to be faithful. We are just going to quote a few visions that our Father has given for the church over the years. We received the message of driving the light, which God revealed to us in the year 2018. Then in the year 2019, God continues to teach us about a healthy environment where one is resting in the vineyard. In the year 2012, God taught us about using the anointing like a gun. In the year 2021, God revealed to us the spiritual condition of the church, meaning the body of Christ. In the year 2022, our father taught us about the vision he saw where he was in an airbus where he taught us who holds the airbus in the year 2022 2023 he taught us about 
are to receive his spirit, not spirit, drunkenness. We are in the year 2024 where the vision for titled Spiritual Mountain that is full of grace. It was in the year 2017 what revealed to us about a vision which we will go to it in detail. The vision that our father saw on the 6th of September 2017 reads, This is what was divinely revealed to me. It was on the 6th of September 2017. God took me between two landing strips and he made me to see two aeroplanes, one on the right and the other one on the left. The right flight took off and was gone. But the flight on the left flew and it had to come back quickly. God began to show me that the one on the right could fly. The one on the left had to come back to the same landing strip without reaching its destination. Thinking it is flying back to safety, but it landed with its right wing, then it was destroyed completely. This was to see which one remained in the air and which one crashed. It took me back from where I came from when I was growing up. Flying in dreams from since I was young. I began to fly from the ground and God said, I am going to show you the mammon. Meaning the mind. God said, I have always been teaching you about the mind. And I thought it was about flying. Then God began to say, check the mind. If the mind is from below, you are going to go down. Many go up and when they are up there, they realize something is not right. You will never come down if you have the word. When they are up there, they resist the Holy Spirit. That is how they crash. Those on the right, they keep the word, the memory of God, and they don't, they don't keep it on earth. He revealed the problem of the mind of many people. That is how it happens. No matter how you can try to use your wings, no matter how you can try to fly, simply because of memory, resisting the Holy Spirit, you will come crashing down. He took my mind from the ground whilst I was on the air and he brought me down and he said, many are suffering with this. This was one of those messages that God rewarded our father with for the body of Christ. And this is where the slogan, let us remain in the air came from. It came from the vision that our father saw in the year 2017. We believe that through all the visions and through all that God has taught our father and what our father has deposited in us concerning a spiritual birthday, we are now going to continue to celebrate with understanding of what a spiritual birthday is. To God be the glory. We love you so much. And now I will be handing over to my sister Benjamin, who is going to take us through the history of Raboni TV. Bring our hands for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it is through faithfulness that we are now celebrating 11 years of RTV. As we have heard that um, we are celebrating or this year's theme is God rewards faithfulness. So to all the viewers all over the world, uh, in Asia, in Europe, in Madagascar, in Australia, in North South America, in Africa, we'd like to say Messiah's greetings unto you.
So for many, they think that RTV just started randomly or some, they do not even have the history of RTV. Therefore, I will be taking you through, but we will be starting with a quote from our father that says, open quote, God can show or reveal your destiny, but not the journey. That is challenges that you will face on your way to your destiny. Close quote. And that is a quote from our father, Prof. Lissacho Daniel. When a word of prophecy is spoken upon one's life or even the ministry, it takes one to act on it in order to see the manifestation thereof. Many receive the word of prophecy but failing to take a step or a leap of faith, they do not see it coming to fruition, meaning that they are not the doer of the word. Before Raboni Center Ministries started in 2002, the man of God, our father, went to visit Prophet Kobus van Rensburg, who told him to go start a ministry. Believing that he will have a TV station, our father, Prof. Lesejo Daniel, sowed a seed in partnering with Prophet Kobus van Rensburg's TV ministry. Now, during the spiritual birthday celebration dated the 6th of September, 2013, our father, Prof. Lesejo Daniel, narrated the vision that God showed him, that is, the vision of the mystery. In the vision, our father, Prof. Lesejo Daniel, saw himself moving like a camera, capturing all the happenings. And that is when it was given him fulfillment captured. Now on the 26th of September 2013, the man of God announced the birth of RTV, that is Raboni TV, with the slogan fulfillment captured. However, RTV started long before then. When the founder of TKC Christian Channel saw how God was using our father, Prof. Lesejo Daniel, he said unto him, the world needs what you have. The man of God, Prof. Lesejo Daniel, then took a leap of faith, bought cameras and started recording the teachings and the ministrations and sent them to TKC for broadcasting. And that is where RTV only appeared for 30 minutes. On all of this started without any partners. It was the word of faith which Prof. Lesejo Daniel acted upon. Then we also appeared on other Christian channels, that is, Solid Rock, Omega, and UBN. Then on the 26th of September 2013, that is when RTV had its own TV channel. Now RTV also faced its own um, share of the persecutions. In 2014, when the persecution started and the video of the demonstration of power where people were eating grass went viral all over the world, many withdrew their partnership from RTV. However, the hand of the Lord kept and sustained the channel. Now I'm going to read a quote from our father, Prof. Lesejo Daniel, regarding um, that era. Open quote. A lot of people cancelled their partnership with RTV when persecution started from all over the world. I told the office to draw up the records for me. I did not tell them what I was doing, but I was checking how many pulled out from partnering. I said, it's good that this has happened. I want to see that God is really with me. I remember when a great man of God, Benny Hinn, went through persecution. People stopped partnering and left him. He was left with a small crew. He wrote a check and gave with all the money he had left, and people thought he was taking a risk, close quote. And as our father always teaches, that faith means risk. Now, we also um, faced or uh, we were faced, yes, with the era of COVID-19. 
and this is when all gatherings were prohibited. But RTV continued showcasing the uncompromising truth to the masses and thus winning souls for the kingdom of God. Through the channel, many from all over the world became sons and ministries were established. The traditional way of physical fellowship was rubbed off from people's minds as many were used to the power of God operating when the hand was laid on them. However, in this sense, the opposite is true. As we saw God's power even move all the more and in a different scale and on a different level. People as far as Venezuela, Spain, the Dominican Republic, India, Washington, and all over Africa, etc., would experience the hand and the power of God right in the comfort of their homes. Just as the centurion asked Jesus to send forth the word for his servant to be healed, that is in Matthew 8 from verse 5 till 13, we have seen and we continue to see the hand of the Lord, which is never too short to save, ministering unto his people, no matter the distance. Now, when it comes to RTV, we have seen it evolving throughout the years. During the time we continued fellowshipping online, RTV kept on evolving and developing from the picture quality moving from SD to HD. Introduction of the RTV 24-hour live stream on YouTube. We have seen Zoom, RTV mobile app, RTV smart TV app, Raboni TV website. We have also seen how it has given birth to harvest mentality sessions, which are um, live every second Wednesday of every month, and also the children and youth garden session, which the children or where the children teach every Saturday. And as Jesus sent his disciples to spread the word to every nation on earth, and this we find in Mark 15 from verse 15 to 16, these are some of the ways RTV reaches the masses all over the world, and after all, technology belongs to God. Blessed viewers, these are just some of the ways or the background um, as to where RTV started and where our father even took the step and the leap of faith when the word of prophecy was spoken unto him. As we have stated and we continue to emphasize that many receive the word of prophecy but not acting upon it or taking the first step, they do not see the word coming to fruition and thus making God to be a liar. So we continue to hold on to be the doers of the word and we imitate our father as he imitates Christ. So for the teachings um, of Venezuela or where our father was ministering to the community of Latin America, you can go on to our YouTube channel and uh, the dates are the 21st of January 2021 as well as the 27th of February 2021. You can also get the ebook where our father was ministering to our brothers and sisters in India on our website, which is www.rabonicentaministries.org.za. So right now we will be handing over to Pastor Patu, who will be taking us through training in the matters of the kingdom. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Benjamin. And now as we'll be going into the training in the matters of the kingdom, I just want to welcome you once again uh, to the first day of our training in the matters of the kingdom as we are still celebrating. And to our Father, we thank you. We love you, Papa. And we continue to say happy spiritual birthday to you. Happy anniversary to RTV. Amen. We bless God. And we are celebrating uh, the training in the matters of the kingdom. And as I've mentioned earlier on, that training in the matters of the kingdom 
was a mandate that God gave to our father, Papa Lisiho Daniel, to train and develop leaders. And training in the matters of, of the kingdom, it started way back. Uh, back then, it used to be around March and September, so it was only twice a year when it started. And uh, up until when it developed, many people around the world, especially in our continent of Africa, would see people flocking and coming to attend the training in the matters of the kingdom. And that is when many leaders, many pastors were birthed from there, many ministries were birthed from the training in the matters of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And now the purpose, as I've mentioned, that the purpose of the training in the matters is to train and develop leaders all over the world and the impact of just a few leaders who can come here and be trained is so enormous that you cannot even imagine it. I actually say that you can liken it to network marketing. When we speak of network marketing, you train one person. The person trains three other people. So that's how training in the matters of the kingdom works. One leader comes here from Zimbabwe. They go back, they train their sons. 10 of their sons. Their 10 sons also train their congregation. So you see like network marketing, the distribution of the word of God, of the power of God is, is, is channeled all over the world, even to people that have never listened to our father, but it is channeled there. Hallelujah. And uh, as you say that uh, many look at the training in the matters of the kingdom as something that is usual or just a normal conference. But it is not so. It is a unique thing because we have read in the Bible, many offices are there, offices of pastors, of teachers, of evangelists, but we have never had an office of developing leaders. And we started to see that with our Father in the Lord. So it is not everyone who is called for this office. It, it is an office of a higher calling that only one who is obedient to the word of God can take or embark in that office because it, it needs one to be in right standing with God in able to be able to lead others as well in the way of righteousness, in the way of the kingdom of God. So this issue of the training in the matters of the kingdom, it did not just come to our father as something that that he just decided or woke up and said, I want to train leaders. But this came as a result of a vision that our father had years back, where he said that in the vision, he had seen a man coming to him for impartation. The man wanted our father to lay hands on him, and he laid hands on him. But then God said, no, you have not done it right. Give them what you have eaten. Give them what is in your stomach. And he said when he looked in his stomach, he saw a book that was opened. And the book came out of his stomach. It went to that man. And after that, the man left with excitement, with joy. And God said, look at him. Look at the joy that he has. No one can take away that joy from him because he has eaten the word that we have eaten. And that is where we begin to see now training in the matters of the kingdom. From the year 2009, we started having training in the matters of the kingdom every month and from the Friday, the Saturday, the Sundays, uh, leaders all over the world were coming to be trained and to be developed. And that is because God had sown this thing in our Father. And we have seen many people, many ministries, many people coming here and our Father prophesying, revealing the Christ that is in them because that is what God has given unto him. And another vision that our Father, before I can hand over, he, he, just to show that it was not only for this country but for leaders all over the world, our Father had another vision where he say that God showed him eggs that were along a railway line and it was as if someone had put them there on purpose. And as he was looking at the eggs, he wanted to remove the eggs. He began to see a locomotive that was coming. And in his mind, he wanted to remove these eggs so that the locomotive must not destroy the eggs. 
And at that moment, he began to see a lot of white, beautiful eggs. They were all around the, 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 the sand and some were even uh, be, be, beyond the shores, over the shores of the sea. And that's when God began to say that you are going to train leaders all over the world. So that is what we say. That's when training in the matters of the kingdom became something that, that is of importance to our Father in the Lord. That even during the COVID or the pandemic, our Father never stopped having the training in the matters of the kingdom. We continued every month having training in the matters of the kingdom. And that is where harvest mentality sessions was birthed from because our father had seen a need to continue to train leaders and even now every second wednesday of the month we have the harvest sessions where our father continues to train leaders all over the world it does not matter that you are a son or not leaders are being trained and we have seen even with the boys and girls as well the the sessions for boys and girls also started as a way of training leaders as well so as we'll be continuing i'll be handing over to my brother uh, apostle basalel uh, all the way from uh, eritrea he will be doing the cake dedication over to you my brother apostle basalel with a hand of applause let's welcome him Messiah's greeting is unto you. A happy, happy is spiritual birthday, Papa. And a happy is spiritual birthday, RTV. My name is Apostle Vasale. I am an Eritrean in nationality, but currently I am living in Uganda. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity first to greet our father. Uh, thank you, Papa, for giving me this opportunity to represent what, all the sons all over the world to speak about how you have impacted our lives and also how you have transformed our lives. I, I I knew Papa uh, when before our TV started. It was on television that I first saw him on some other channels. It was for a short time that he comes. It was not a whole day service for a short time that he comes and the preaches and also demonstrate the power of God. It was through that time that I started to know him. But I had that mindset. When you are far away from someone, it becomes, you don't consider the person as your spiritual father, or he can be a spiritual father for you. Not because you are underestimating the power of God, but it because of the barrier of the distance, you feel as if you have no connection. It was during this process, I usually follow Papa, but I was not consistent in following Daddy. But later, when uh, during uh, 2014, when RTV was already formed, I started to watch RTV uh, from time and time again. But there was some other channels also I used to follow. And also because of this distance barrier, we were, I did not commit myself fully to follow that. But later, those men of God whom I used to follow also, when I have uh, an encounter with them, I was so disappointed that I could not get what I was looking for. And th during that time, it was in 2018, that I was, I was uh, actually offended uh, because of what happened to me, but about what that man of God said to me. But when I switched on to Rabuni Center Ministry, it was Daddy who said to us during that time, there are some men of God whom they have been given to you by God to make you reach some level. But after that level, 
God gives you another man of God. It was as if he was speaking to me, not to take offense from what happened, but to make my focus to God and to see where is God trying to take me and to develop me. It was through that moment I started to become serious, follow daddy. Then after that, so many encounters and guidance has to happened to me. It was later that daddy uh, appointed me to be a disciple. Up to all this time, until today, I have never met daddy physically. I have never come to South Africa. I have never been uh, in South Africa. The way I see sometimes, many might think, because I have some other personal uh, relationship with Papa Lesefo Daniel, that he appointed me a disciple. I have no any other personal communication. It is the same way as everybody communicated to daddy. We communicate on Zoom for the first time on RTV, and it was a live service on 6 September 2020. Before that, except I wrote an email about how uh, I have been affected by going to other places, my confession. Apart from that, I have never met daddy either through communication of emails or WhatsApp or any kind of communication means. It was through that encounter our relationship started to grow. I started to fellowship. I started those words which he was giving me. They made me to fall in love with him. Because what I desired, what I wanted to see, and what I loved before in the word of God, I saw it manifested in our father. There was nothing that I saw in our father that can make me to be offended or to think negative or wrong. What he was doing, I couldn't find anything that it was out of the word of God. So when I understood it, sometimes it is not, it is not easy for many who loves to, to, to socialize with people. But the way I see it, what benefited me was I am not that a person who socialized with everybody. I usually am uh, separate. I, I go, I do my life alone. So that does not bring any pressure unto me. Whenever somebody asks me about my father, I am not ashamed to testify, even to tell them who he is, because they added nothing to me. But what my father gave me, he restored my spiritual life with my Lord Jesus Christ. And I can not fail to thank God for what he has done for me. On this day, Daddy, I say thank you on behalf of me and so countless, so many people, so many leaders, so many ministers of the gospel all over the world who have never met you, but you have been an inspiration. You have been a guide. The words which you have given us has been cleansing us, has been encouraging us, has sustained us. Many those who used to meet you physically during COVID, it was a test for many. But to us, even though that COVID brought many bad things to this world, but to us and our relationship with you, it lifted it up to another level. That we were able to see you and communicate with you face to face. And one thing, to those who have come or to those who are watching me for your first time, I just want to say this. Everything our father is doing and has been doing to me and to anyone who I have seen, this is my testimony that all is free of charge. We paid nothing. We ask for nothing. He asks us for nothing. We just participate. We ask what we wanted. And he gives us his time. He prays for us everything for free. And I really thank God for this because this is 
what our Lord has commanded us, all of us to do. We have, we have received it freely and we have to give freely. This is what we have received it freely from our Father and we should do the same thing. I am really grateful. I am thankful. I just wanted to say this so that Daddy, you should you should not look at those who are sitting in the auditorium only. There are millions of people watching you, millions of people being encouraged by what you do every day. Millions of people are preaching the same gospel by receiving from what you are preaching. Many, they could not speak with you. They are in many different countries, especially from the way I came from, from Eritrea, whom they follow you. And I thank you for that, what you have been doing to us. And also I thank you all those who partner with RTV. RTV has been a blessing to me since 2014. Up to 2017, I was in Eritrea. There is no network of internet that I can watch your daddy through YouTube. The only channel was from a free satellite. Even if I wanted to pay uh, that satellite, I cannot pay. There is no any transaction of uh, Visa card or MasterCard in Eritrea. But because it was free, because you partners have paid for the expenses of RTV, and God has put this in your heart. I thank you. May the Almighty God reward you. We are your fruits. We are thankful. We are grateful. And there are millions of people who thank you for what you have been doing. And we bless the Lord. And we bless our Father. We pray. May God protect him. May God bless him. May God even open his glory and his mysteries the more, his bottomless riches unto all of us so that we can benefit and grow and shine and reveal Christ on this earth. Amen. I really thank you. Amen, Daddy. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you so much. And indeed, when you are listening to the apostle, you heard him saying that he has never been here. He has never met our father physically like we are in the same house with him. So he's, he's a fulfillment of the same vision that I was speaking about of beds, even over the shores where our father was seeing them. And this is also a fulfillment, my father of Isaiah 60. Your sons will come from far. Afar, he will bring the whole Isaiah 60. It just talks of the goodness of the Lord for those who are faithful to him, his reward for those who are faithful to him. Hallelujah. So we thank God, we bless God. And before us, as you can see, we have beautiful uh, cakes here. And the first cake here on my, on my right, uh, as you all know, in the year 2014, when this ministry started going uh, through persecutions, there were many prophecies that were made that this ministry is going to close. There will be a for sale board. And you also had also last week, I'm not speaking of something from far. Last week, we had uh, people during the uh, ministrations who were where demons were saying, we thought that this church is closed uh, all this time since the COVID. Uh, how how, how did you make it? How come you are still open? So our father, during that time when there were those kind of prophecies, he just said, time will tell. And indeed, time tells we are still here, we are still standing. That's why we continue to say thank you uh, to everyone that have been giving to this ministry, even during the COVID time. Thank you to the partners of RTV. Thank you to everyone for your giving. Hallelujah. So that's a beautiful cake that we have right there. On, on my left, we have a cake that is a symbol of the spiritual birthday vision that our father had in the year 2013, as our sister uh, Benjamin was mentioning the visions, uh, that is the vision of fulfillment captured, where our father said in the vision, 
He saw himself, it's like he was holding a camera, zooming in and out, zooming in and out. And then that's when God said fulfillment captured. So indeed, fulfillment has been captured. All we just say now, we just capture and we say cut. We capture, we decide how we capture it. So we thank God uh, for this ministry. RTV has been capturing everything that has been happening. The proof is there. All you just need to do is to continue watching RTV, download all those streaming services of RTV, and continue watching. Hallelujah. So we thank God. We bless God. And as we continue to celebrate RTV 11 years, as we continue celebrating uh, the spiritual birthday of our father, as we continue to celebrate the training in the matters where all of us are being groomed, where all of us are being developed, let us celebrate. It is a celebration. Hallelujah. It's a celebration. So now I'll be handing back to the worship team as we continue with the celebrations. To God be the glory. Over to you, worship team. <laughs> 